A good hip examination actually begins with a good back examination. Problems with the back, including disc disease, degeneration, SI joint problems, all can actually cause radicular pain to the hip that can confuse a diagnosis. So we always have to begin with a very complete, thorough back examination. Uh, we want to begin by having our patient stand backwards so we can actually inspect his spine from the back. This will allow us to evaluate overall alignment, uh, see if his spine is straight up and down or whether he has any scoliosis. Uh, we can look at his muscle masses on either side to evaluate to see if he's uh, weaker or has any uh, hy hypertrophy or atrophy of muscles. Uh, when he, we'll have him stand sideways. In the sideways position, we're going to actually look for normal curvatures of the spine. In the lumbar spine, there's a normal lordosis, or actually where he's arched forward. In the thoracic spine, there's a normal kyphosis, where he's actually bent forward. And in the cervical spine, there should be a normal uh, lordosis. So here you can see on this patient, lordosis, kyphosis, lordosis, which is a normal uh, finding. Last thing we do on a standing evaluation for potential pain is what we call a stork test. What we do is a single leg extension, so we have him stand up on one leg. As he stands up, I'm going to have him arch backwards. As he arches backwards, if he had a spondylolysis or an SI joint pain on the same side that his foot is down, that would cause pain. Stand back up, switch sides, and arch backwards, arch backwards on this side. Again, repeating this on both sides to evaluate for either spondylolysis or SI joint problems on either side.